And uh Everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast and we are here for our next episode of the Good Witch podcast and we're talking about the latest episode uh, season five episode three called the honeymoon and uh, I'm Rachel and I'm very excited to have Caroline is here. Hey. Yes and George is here. Hi. Thanks so much girls for joining me to talk about this episode. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So we had the big wedding. And what did you guys both think of your overall thoughts about this episode? I, I, I love this episode. I, I, I like seeing Sam and Cassie do their own thing and then still have Middleton involved too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Georgia? I liked it. I liked that there was a separation. Um, I wasn't Sorry, I wasn't crazy about what actually happened on the honeymoon, but I liked that everybody else had to do things away from Cassie and Sam. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, they really packed a lot into this episode. I I liked it. I liked all of the all of the plot lines pretty much. I think worked, and I uh, I especially loved <laughs> Mayor, Mayor Martha getting <laughs> camera shy. That yes. was so funny, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, some of the grace stuff was a little weird to me but we're gonna we're gonna talk about it and it'll be really fun so make sure you let us know what you thought overall of the episode you put that in the comments or on twitter tell us your thoughts and so let's start out we have cassie and sam at this vineyard for their honeymoon and uh yeah they what did you think of Cassie and Sam as this newly newly wed uh, couple were they were they cute for you were they fun what do you think Georgia oh obviously of course yeah. I think that I loved seeing every everything Sam said was some kind of like cheesy line which I was so in favor of yeah like we just we haven't gotten enough of that in my opinion so I was very happy to see it I was glad that there was no drama between the two of them yeah um I just thought it was really sweet and I, I love seeing them together i'm so happy they're married so yeah i loved yeah. it did you like their flirty banter there caroline yes i i, I was like smiling when he said my wife i was like oh yeah. <laughs> yeah it was really cute and then also when she introduces him as her husband for the yes. first time that was really cute and just like it was fun when they were sort of flirting over the cake or like that yes. kind of stuff i really enjoyed that that was a lot of fun. His, his line about, I like Bobby better. I was like, you go, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree that I think this whole sort of plot with the brother and the sister on the vineyard and the daughter, Alex, and everything, I think that was probably the weakest of the storylines. Uh, but it, it was cute enough to me. I So uh, it, it was kind of classic Good Witch, I felt like. Cassie kind of. Uh, working her magic. I mean, she can even change fruit from withered <laughs> to well. It was pretty impressive, I thought. <laughs> so, why didn't why didn't you like it, uh, Georgia? I just it wasn't as everything else was so good to me that I wasn't as invested in this random family as I I felt like I was supposed to be. Um, mm -hmm. I liked the daughter. I thought she was good. Everybody was really good. It's just that it wasn't as I don't know. It wasn't as entertaining to me, but I did. I honestly think I teared up at the end when it was like they finally, you know, reconciled and they're all family again. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And, mm -hmm. you know, but it just, it didn't grab my attention the way I would want it to, but that's fine. They don't all have to, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, I liked it that, like you said, it was classic where I started watching it and I was like, oh, I'm so sure that, that she can turn the grapes into this. So she can the camera. And then I catch myself, good which does it, where I'm like, oh, you're being yeah. cynical. Stop it. And then it's, it's just so entertaining and fun and happy. So yeah. 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 What, do you, what do you think of this brother and sister uh, dispute going on, uh, Caroline? Well, like George, like I, I, I wasn't as invested in that storyline, but I still liked it. But I, I would like to see more, like maybe Middleton or more Cassie and Sam together, you know. But yeah. it, I liked it. Yeah, I mean, I think it would have felt weird, honestly, if she had gone 
on a if they'd gone on a honeymoon and there hadn't been some some way for cassie to use her magic mm -hmm. uh and so it, it was it was cl classic to me i thought it was cute enough uh and uh i i thought that it did they did a pretty good job i thought casting they did all sort of feel like family to me the, mm -hmm. especially the girl felt like the niece of of that lady and uh you know it, it felt a little bit too tidy when it all just sort of was better and everybody was happy and that things but that again like you said that's that's a good witch for you that's the show mm -hmm. what it does and i feel like this show was pretty heavy this episode was pretty heavy on the magic mm -hmm. for, and then, for, yeah. for good witch like normally the magic is more just sort of in her intuitiveness or whatever but this is like we've got time <laughs> time changing we've got ghosts we've got we've got <laughs> <laughs> fruit coming to life again i mean it is pretty heavy on the magic so that's interesting i noticed that too i was like this is interesting i like it mm, yeah uh so yeah they they have this whole thing going on and it is kind of silly that that these uh inn owners would be so uh like airing all their dirty laundry in front of these guests like that's probably not the best idea to be like well better enjoy it this year because it may not be around next year like all that stuff is is really <laughs> and i also did like how the uh <laughs> how the family conflict somehow caused his arm to hurt like what's going yeah. on <laughs> I, in my whole life i've never heard of anybody having arm ache from stress that, that's <laughs> the right arm specifically yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah the right arm <laughs> yeah and i was like oh it's a heart attack oh no sam's gonna have to help and they is it a heart attack no and i'm like well then what <laughs> yeah what? i think i think he even said that that's the left arm for heart yeah attack. right arm is stress i think he's oh, so like that i'm like whoa okay <laughs> it could be because he's like you know tent in the bar and his his arm hurts or something like no it's the stress of your family conflict yeah oh, okay <laughs> yeah so at the beginning of the episode we also find out that poor grace is oh, very upset because oh. noah breaks up with her and this is why high schoolers should not have serious <laughs> relationships they should just date and have fun they should not be going through this but nevertheless she did and bailey mattis is always really great at, at bringing on the 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 tears uh -huh. in the feels and uh <laughs> so she is very 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 upset uh and how did you feel about uh were you pretty mad at noah there grace i mean grace what am i saying were you pretty <laughs> were you pretty mad at noah there georgia I, I like officially hate Noah now to do that to Grace. I was so, oh my gosh, I was so mad. He's supposed to be there in two days and he calls her. Yeah. He calls her to break up with her over the phone when they've been long distance, which implies that you're serious. You don't do long distance if you're like casual. You're not going right. to do that. So you're supposed to be there in two days. Either call her a month earlier and do this or show up in the two days and do this in person. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was so upset. She's saying they're crying, and I was like, "This is the worst ever. I can't, I can't believe they did this." So yeah, I'm I'm very mad. Noah's dead to me now. <laughs> Doesn't exist. <laughs> Do you agree, Caroline? Yeah, I'm like not good, Noah. I had I had a friend, and I think it was like middle school, like right when MySpace was like popular, <sighs> and the guy broke up with her on MySpace. I'm like, it reminded me of that. I was like, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, I had a, the eighth grade boyfriend dump me over a text message. And I was like, no, it's like that. You don't do that. You do it in person. Yeah, person. Oh. Be My a man, son. Noah. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's at all possible, like, be there in person. Which I, it was. He was going to yeah. be there in two days, you like, know. Is it, was he just getting an excuse to cancel his trip or something? I don't know. But yeah, I agree. It was pretty lame and poor Grace and so i was a little bit confused about what sh so she she moves her timeline forward 
Mm-hmm. So she doesn't have to feel the pain, but it doesn't mm-hmm. affect anybody else. Is that's that what right? I, was, I think that's what I think that's what it meant. That's so what she, I got. So she's just on a different time parallel than everybody else. I was like wildly confused. It, it by was that. a little Me bit too. weird. I was like, "What? How, did she here? change the time in her phone? You can't. It synced up with like." the world you can't do that (laughs) i mean i get it she's magic and all but like yeah it was just confusing (laughs) because she well first of all we didn't have no idea she she had this power and second of all (laughs) (laughs) like i've never heard of time travel where you in your body (laughs) you are ahead of everyone else but everybody else is at the same time i'm like this is like, I mean, we, this is getting into Doctor Who territory here. Like, Everybody what's else, going yeah. on? So weird. It, it was a little, it was a little weird. And she, uh, she it doesn't seem to help her at all, at all. Like, I was just confused by this whole plot because she moves ahead because, and then, but it, she just continues to bake muffins. So it doesn't seem like it helped her at all. And everybody else is treating her like it's the same time. So I don't understand. I don't get yeah. it. I don't get the time yeah. travel thing. That was the super confusing part to me was, did she actually move herself forward? But she's still sad about it? Or is she? did she literally just change the time in her phone? Which I still don't understand how you could do that. <laughs> but, like days ahead. It doesn't make any sense. Well, they and kept talking. Else, it was to happen. Well, they kept talking about you can't move up time. You just have to yeah. go through it. And then she's like, ah, I can move up time. But I'm like, what is <laughs> happening here? <laughs> People are like, you're, you're supposed to be sad. I'm like, I don't know. And like, she was sad. So I just don't understand the point of the, I guess somehow that was supposed to make her not as sad. But mm-hmm. like, all it did was make her angry bake. Which mm-hmm. is what she would have done anyway, even if she had been sad. So I, yeah. it was very, it was very confusing to me. And <laughs> I mean, you know, it's because Abigail told her, oh, we all want to fast forward through the parts of pain or whatever it was. And you yeah. go, okay, yeah, but like, how, how did yeah. she, we need answers. I don't know how she did it. Oh, <laughs> and it didn't seem like it helped. Yeah. yeah. So it was just. It, it was very odd, and because she had not actually dealt with it, Rachel, that's why. I guess, that's yeah, you can't. You really can't. I mean, Caroline, have you ever angry baked before? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you angry bake? Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yum! I gotta be at your house when you're mad. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Go visit her, and make her angry. <laughs> do you angry bake, Georgia? I don't even happy bake. I, I, like, <laughs> I sort of bake if there's something to bake for, but yeah, that's definitely not my specialty. Yeah, I probably angry eat. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, angry, I, 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 eat, I eat all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was funny because I had actually just made muffins uh, the like on I think I was on Saturday so just before this aired so I was like was I angry but I don't think I was angry (laughs) you question your own emotions (laughs) (laughs) and yeah I mean she's quite the little baker she could Uh she could help Stephanie at the at the bistro oh my god that'd be so great that would be good (laughs) yeah yeah it was that was pretty funny I did that (laughs) and yeah so she's baking and then she decides she realized by the end that she can't mess with time or something and so she moves it back (laughs) and uh, but she's got her family and everybody to support her so yeah young love what can you do Let us be a lesson to all of our young listeners. Yes. Don't seriously date in high school. It is. It, I mean, what what good can come of it? Rachel, That's true. Some of them get married. Some of them, a lot so of people marry their high school. You sweetheart. either you either marry your high school sweetheart, or you end up having what happened, or you angry bake. One or the other. 
And the and likelihood of, <laughs> the likelihood, I have to say my best friend in high school did and is still married to her high school sweetheart. So it is possible. But, uh, <laughs> and it really weirds me out because her oldest is now graduating from high school and I'm just oh, like, wow. oh, wow. How did that happened. Oh my God. They were like high school newlyweds. Like that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. So she got married uh when i don't know she was 20 or 21 something like that because i'm 38 so there you go and oh okay yeah yeah so i'm just an old i'm an oldie forget that <laughs> telling all these kids not to date anybody <laughs> yeah that's what i say to you youngins just go on dates don't exclusively date it just leads to leads heartbreak. to heartbreak it I don't does. necessarily listen to that you guys if you find somebody who's really nice and good don't don't just throw them away because you're 16 it's okay <laughs> uh so there we go that's my advice uh but <laughs> uh, so then we have uh martha getting asked to be on the uh the news show she goes and auditions and first she thinks she's just going to be so great she's chatting it up with the other lady auditioning and giving out advice and then she gets before the camera and just completely freezes and that was hilarious i thought Catherine disher did a great job with that whole whole thing yeah i was laughing the whole time i was like oh Martha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know obviously i don't have camera ca camera fear because uh i have um, a youtuber and everything but uh but i thought she just she pulled it off in a in a way that was pretty relatable and just really funny uh -huh. <laughs> have you ever felt it all camera shy georgia oh my gosh like every single time we do anything on here <laughs> <laughs> like voice is voice is not bad enough but it's about as far as i would like to go yeah i don't like to see my face i don't like other people to see my face <laughs> It's just you a do whole such thing. A good job, and you're so pretty. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> um, you... No, but thank you. But were... yeah, it's definitely a discomfort. Yeah. Were you cracking up though, at Martha? <laughs> yeah, because it, honestly, I didn't expect it. That was really yeah, clever for them to have all mm -hmm. the things to go wrong to have her be camera shy and have stage fright or whatever. That was really good. Yeah. I was kind of bummed out at first though because I was like, oh no, I really want her to get this job. Yeah. I don't want this just to be a one episode thing. Like I want her to to be this news person because that sounds hilarious. So I was a little nervous at first, but then you know they came around. But thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it's like perfect for her. you can't imagine that going wrong and then it does. So it's like you have to make it better. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, were you laughing at poor Martha there, Caroline? Yes, I was. I I I, I was like, shocked that it was happening, but it was, I know. It was so funny. Uh, I was horse laughing by myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gail is busy planning this fundraiser, and it turns out Mr. I think his name is Donovan, right? Mm -hmm. Or am I? Yeah. Or is that yeah? Because because Stephanie's guy is Adam, right? Yes. yes. So Abigail's guy's Donovan. I just said Blairsville mayor. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But uh, the, the mayor, he turns out he is planning hospital fundraiser on the same day as the, uh, the fireman uh, fundraiser in Middleton. And this seems like quite the strategy that he's got for getting together with Abigail to like, <laughs> I mean, to put the whole fundraiser of the hospital in jeopardy because he wants to, <laughs> he wants to get together with Abigail. It is quite, it's quite an interesting strategy for Mr. Blairsville mayor. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> move, smooth move <laughs> yeah i guess so you knew i did love though i thought it was a, you must have loved this georgia but that when she, when he's uh flipping heads or tails and Ugh. she's just she doesn't even she's walking out of the room i'll see you friday or whatever it was that was a really slick it abigail was, moment you know because every for some reason what he's doing with his little moves his little sneaky underhanded plans and stuff 
And where I'm like, okay, you can just talk to her and plan things with her. She's not completely unreasonable. But then she comes out and does something like that where it's heads and it's, yeah, see you on Friday. And he hasn't even looked at it yet. And you're like, oh, see, you can't even compete with Abigail because she's the best. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, love, I love every Abigail moment as long as she's yeah. you know, happy. Are, are you feeling uh, Donovan, uh, Caroline? Do you like this guy? I, 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 like, I like him, but I don't know how I like him with Abigail just yet. Mm. I, mm. But I love Abigail. So, yeah. I'm yeah. excited to see the relationship, though. Yeah, yeah, I think they're pretty fun. I, I mean, it's 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 nice because they set the bar so low last season. <laughs> We're all like, oh, good, she's not with Phil. Phil was the worst. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I I can totally see what they're trying to do with with them both being kind of uh i don't know both being kind of troublesome and and difficult in a way you know i have like a similar uh sarcastic they're both kind of sarcastic in the mm-hmm. same way so they're trying to kind of put them together and i feel like they have decent chemistry i'd like to actually them actually go on a date i think mm-hmm, that'll yeah. be fun once they find yeah. that I, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I just I, like I didn't. I really like them together personally, but I don't know if I trust him because mm-hmm. I don't know why is he trying to kiss her at a charity event? Like you have not been on a date. You haven't. You know, like you've not actually said anything nice to her. She's like, oh, I'll go out with you, and he goes, I didn't ask you out, and you go, okay. Well, what is she supposed to do? She's supposed to just like know that you like her, which she does. But you need to be an adult about it and ask her out. And then you can try to kiss her, but don't do that at a charity event. What are you doing? <laughs> well, like, did, <sighs> did we know that he is a Davenport and she's a Merriwick, and so their love is cursed? Do we know that before today? I don't remember that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that may be part of it. I mean, he's just <laughs> he he's he knows that uh, there's. He's tempting fate here. I don't know, but uh, but yeah. So that was interesting. I I didn't realize it. It was kind of fun for Martha to be the near kiss uh, person. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. That was funny. <laughs> Her face. But, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like it's hard because Abigail is such an independent character that it, it's kind of hard for her to find a match. I feel like I she's dated so many people on the show uh have we really had a a guy yet for abigail that we thought oh this this is it this is a really good match not that i can think yeah of. i don't think so either yeah so i don't know it's kind of tricky i feel like for her uh i i'm not a big fan of three tri- love triangle thing between <laughs> between vincent stephanie and adam <laughs> this yeah. love triangle thing i i'm not a big fan of that i feel like that i, I don't like love triangles i think they're really boring and just not mm-hmm. my favorite i would rather them just be developing the one love story <laughs> and make it i don't know i just i don't know what do you think about that with vincent and Adam both trying to ask her on dates. Stephanie. I like Adam for Stephanie. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Vincent. <laughs> I I don't like love love triangles either. Yeah. What do you think, Georgia? You I like it? So many feelings about it, you guys. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I like I said last week, I was shocked that they didn't try to set Vincent up with Stephanie. And I said it and then he goes and asks her out. Abigail, the thing is Abigail set Vincent up with Stephanie this week. So I feel like that means something because yeah. the other two just kind of found each other, Stephanie and Adam, as far as I can recall. And I really like Adam, but to be like, oh, I'm working through some stuff right away. Like she didn't ask you to marry her. She just was like, oh, do you want to like get coffee or whatever it was? And he shut her down. So if she goes and finds somebody else, I mean, I'm not either way. I'm not set on either one of them. But I like that she kind of gets to choose now rather than just being, you know, with whoever is available. Because Stephanie deserves, you know, the best, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I like both of them. I just, Adam was like a little bit shifty to me because I didn't understand why 
he can't just like spend time with her. He has to, oh no, I'll come into your little bistro, but then I'm not going to actually go out with you. Like whatever. And Vincent seems straightforward and I like him. And so I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with well, it. I think it's interesting. Did, so she asked him out. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong because he, he says, oh, I, I just, I just split up with my fiance. And then he says, meeting you has made it a little easier and they're kind of flirting back and forth back and forth and then finally at the at the uh party he he does ask her out and she says uh she says maybe in a in a little bit Mm -hmm. yeah it puts him off a little bit because he did that to her originally what last week and she tried to ask him out or she tried to ask him to do something and he said I'm working through some things. And so she's like, okay, I guess he's not available. And so she, mm-hmm. you know, acts like an adult and sort of moves on and it's fine. She's not mad at him, but if mm-hmm. he needs time, then she's going to give him time. And now he's like, oh, let's go out. Wait, Adam. <laughs> but did she not know that he had split up with his fiance? That seemed to be new news. Yeah. In this episode. Mm-hmm. So she te- he tells them, oh, okay. And yeah, and Vincent... I, I feel like she has better chemistry with Adam, though. I feel like this seems like more of a natural couple than with Vincent to me. I get that feeling, too. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, that's sort of why I want to see what happens with Vincent, because Adam seems like such an easy choice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I, I know, like, that. they're both perfect. They end up together. Ta-da. But Vincent, now what's going to happen? Ooh. Like, I don't know. I'm in favor of it. I like it. I wonder- yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I wonder how long he's going to stay if Stephanie doesn't, you know, choose him. I wonder if he's going to stay the whole season. Yeah, because she says, I just don't want to be the rebound girl. But then she says, yes, just not right now. So I, I hope that, I don't really like the love triangle. I hope we don't get that all season long. But if she's just kind of dating, because like just dating people is different yeah, than like Rachel. a love triangle. Mm-hmm. She's doing what you recommend. She's casually <laughs> yeah. dating both of them. That's the thing. It feels it feels like healthy to me. It doesn't yeah. seem like they're both in love with her and she has to pick one right now. It's like, okay, see what happens. Yeah. That's true. I mean, that advice was to high school students. <laughs> Still. <laughs> but in general, yeah, some casual dating is 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 recommended, I guess. But <laughs> but then we have this guy Tyler coming into the bistro and it was he on season one or something and I forgot because that was such a weird introduction because he was like oh Tyler where have you (laughs) been for four years I don't I haven't seen you forever I know I was wondering that too like what who was this guy (laughs) and it made me think he had to have been on the show or why would they say that it was so weird and 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 so he finds out that Nick has moved into Grey House and he's like, whoa, dude. Like, what is going on? And uh, the one thing I, I think is, is a shame is I wish that they had moved somebody into Sam's house. I mean, I'm sure somebody has, but somebody in the story, because that would have been hilarious. Well, yeah. maybe they just haven't gotten to it yet. I mean, I would think he would have sold us. Maybe if that's a plot point coming up, then I will be very excited because I just think like that is the perfect plot point to have Martha move in yes. to Sam's house. That would be so funny. I oh need that gosh. now. It would be hilarious. And her just like popping over all the time. She does anyway, but if she lived across the street, um, <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure that Vincent's not going to buy it or something? Uh, I can oh. see it. I can see it. But I like I, both of those. <laughs> do we trust Vincent? Or are we, I don't know. How do you feel about Vincent? I don't, I don't, I, I kind of, like, I feel sorry for him, but then, like, last week when he wasn't, like, at the wedding, I'm like, oh, Vincent. But I have to see him more with Cassie. Yeah, for me to get the the trust vibe. Yeah, what do you think? Do you like Vincent, Georgia? Yeah, I like Most Vincent. I didn't think I would, but I I trust him probably more than I trust like Adam or Donovan. <laughs> I don't know why. I just get a vibe yeah. from him, so I'm like, all right, yeah, I I like him. I wouldn't mind if he stuck around at all. Well, he is giving good advice to Grace, and he is so I. 
I don't know. Maybe he was just kind of lost last week, but we'll see. Yeah. But but yeah. Uh, so Nick and Tyler end up going to try to find the ghosts at Gray House. And that's sort of <laughs> another little plot going on there. But, but you just, guys, honestly, how how would there be a ghost roaming the house every single night? And there are people who live there and guests there every single day, and nobody's ever talked about this. <laughs> I know. We've had all Come these, on. We've had all these Halloween movies that we yeah. never. At a, the ghost at Grey House. What is going on? Yeah, God, I know. Nick. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was laughing about Clementine though, because that was <laughs> Bailey's character in the Christmas movie. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. cool, Caroline. <laughs> we were all sitting here going, "Oh my gosh, that's so funny." That was her <laughs> elf name. <laughs> I mean, that would be really funny if an elf was the one actually haunting Grey House, though. I would think that. That would be hilarious. But, uh, but. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. And so, and Abigail gives her speech. She, she doesn't even know that she's going to give a speech, but she gives a speech. And uh, she says that uh, she thanks all the first responders and the hospital staff and everybody. And. Uh, we get more uh, sort of nonsense with this vineyard with the brother. He's going to file a petition to divide it. That kind of goes back there. And that's when his arm starts hurting. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, but and then we find out that Martha gets the job. It was so exciting. Yay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> she says, uh, she says, we'll make Middleton our own little Tinseltown or Tinsdale town. <laughs> that was great. I like that a lot. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and, uh, and so then uh, I think it's Tyler who ends up, uh, he's really excited about these ghosts. And Grace <laughs> says, did he just sh shush us? And then Nick says, uh, the guy knows his ghosts. <laughs> so that, that was pretty funny. He just shush, shush. And I, I kind of liked how Nick the whole time was like, you're making a lot of muffins here. Like, what's going on? <laughs> that was fun. Little moment where Abigail tells Martha that people aren't her thing. Which I thought was kind of funny. And then, <laughs> then Martha steps in and, and says that, uh, uh, that it, gives praise for the for abigail and for uh may the uh, blairsville mayor for what they did she kind of uh makes it nice and so that was kind of a nice moment between abigail and martha i thought mm -hmm. yeah considering everything and <laughs> you might want to work on that if people aren't your thing <laughs> she said cupcakes are a thing i mean you can't yeah her. cupcakes oh that was actually that was abigail and um and Donovan. the mayor and then grace uh is still claiming i really don't feel a thing to vincent and vincent says you can't just fast forward to the part where you feel better and evidently she kind of can with her weird little app i, I want that app on my head <laughs> <laughs> you can move forward and everybody else just stay the same i wonder if you can move backwards yeah mm -hmm. Because she could just move backwards to the point before the breakup, and be <laughs> like, and be the she could be the one to break up. Oh, there you it's go. Always, it's always better when you're the breakupper, not the breakup mm -hmm. Wise advice, Rachel. Indeed. Because then you, ha you, yeah, you have the power. Wouldn't you, you rather be? Yeah, wouldn't you rather be the breakupper? Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. But then you can't listen to sad Taylor Swift songs and feel bad for yourself. <laughs> and so. eat ice cream. Yeah. Exactly. You get no sympathy. So, you know, it's a trade-off. <laughs> you can't rage bake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make exactly. tons of cookies. <laughs> and she should have, she should have like a bake sale. A rage <laughs> bake sale. <laughs> At least she's not like uh rage driving or, or something like that road rage there you go. <laughs> that's good i mean yeah that's a relief <laughs> uh and uh and then she changes in the app and uh then we find out that they have decided the couple have just uh have decided at the vineyard have decided that they're going to make everything 
great and they're going to stay at the vineyard and all this stuff and so the, the grapes are back so that was pretty exciting <laughs> Overnight. I mean, at, at what point is 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 Cassie like? <laughs> these are like biblical at a certain point. Like miracles, turning water into wine, and stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty good. Well, wait, did that sister, the aunt one, did she say that that had happened one time before? You know what? She might have. I suppose she's but, like, oh, but don't it was you on the me? same day. I mean, I wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good, but um. That's when Vincent asks Stephanie out. She says yes, but then you can see that Adam is, she's looking at Adam in, outside in, in, through the window. So that's what you're saying. This love triangle is going on. Hmm. So, hmm. and then we get uh, the scene where they're trying to get Cassie and Sam to squish the grapes with their feet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> finally like a honeymoon thing honestly i know <laughs> would you would you uh jump right in and and be squishing the grapes or would you be like ew gross no gross super gross <laughs> you're just gross don't do that it's feet are, are feet are just gross yeah feet, yes <laughs> right i certainly I, I certainly wouldn't eat it or drink <laughs> it i guess uh i mean i don't do wine at all so i i wouldn't ever have the situation presented before me but i don't know like i feel like cheesy stuff like that like corny stuff like that is like perfect for a honeymoon you know exactly yeah. like that's the kind of thing you want to instagram be like look at us we were squishing grapes yeah. with our feet like yeah, i wouldn't I wouldn't do it with my friends, but if my 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 husband wanted to do that, I'd be like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just do about anything on your honeymoon that's mm -hmm. like coupley cute. Yeah, uh, so something like that, you know, yeah. with the two of them. It was very cute. Yeah, and then you see the last scene is uh, is Abigail and Grace and Cassie all watching. <laughs> A movie together and they're watching i think it's an affair to remember yep uh -huh. yeah yeah and, uh, she's gonna because it she's gonna leave them up there <laughs> on the top of the the empire state building yeah <laughs> i i do love that movie it's a good movie yeah you were there i wanted to there it was the closest place to heaven <laughs> i was looking up yeah that's great rachel you do love that movie <laughs> i do although there's a long portion in the middle that you kind of just fast forward <laughs> yeah like, it starts really great with their romance and everything and then there's a long time where she's like leading this choir and yeah, like, right? really boring stuff You're like zoom <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like the end is so good yeah. when she's lying there and he's super mad and he's like, oh, how could you not come? How, how did you not come? She's, he's so bitter. And, and then he figures it out when he looks at the painting. And he's like, oh, my gosh. You're paralyzed, you know? And he's freaking out. And it's great. It's great. But, yeah. <laughs> That's my advice. And fair to remember. Have your remote handy so you can passport all this. All the middle parts. That was like the most sleepless in Seattle kind of like review of that movie I've actually heard <laughs> a new person make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a really good movie because Deborah Kerr and Cary Grant have really great chemistry, and you're just like, oh no, why did she have to have the accident? She could get up there, but but yeah, when she's doing the choir and stuff, it's just like, and then she starts dating that other guy, and you're like, eh, yeah. fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's my review of <laughs> but, but yeah uh so that was fun i enjoyed that and it was all together i thought a really enjoyable episode they had a lot going on and uh yeah looking forward to next week when we get full-on martha's talk show host that's I can't be, wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> and she's going to be interviewing Cassie, which should be really fun. Mm -hmm. The two Catherines together doing this scene is going to be very fun, I think, to watch. 
So we are not sure whether we are going to have Good Witch next week. Still a little touch and go. We'll see. I'm going to be gone. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll try our best. Uh, but uh, yeah, it should be a fun episode nevertheless. So let us know in the comments or on Twitter what you thought of the episode, the different plot lines. We'd love to hear. And yeah, thanks so much, ladies, for talking about it with me. It was fun. It was really fun. So Georgia, where can people find you? I am on Twitter at, at Georgia Speech. Great. And Caroline, what about you? Twitter at um, Mita Caroline R. Great. And you can follow me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, and on iTunes and YouTube. I'm just finishing up. Next week will be my uh, final teen month entry. We're doing, I'm going to do Say Anything. And so that's going to be really fun. This week, I talked all about talked all about juno which is one of my favorites i love oh. it so check that out and uh and then make sure you're following the podcast all over social media uh, and on itunes and youtube you leave us your ratings and reviews on itunes we're doing a giveaway of the uh of the love of the shore uh on ebook for anybody who gives their reviews for this next week. So check that out. We would really appreciate that. And then we also have our Patreon, which is so much fun. For only a few dollars a month, you can become a member of our Facebook group. You can help support, get early access to things. We really are grateful for that. We also are going to be introducing our new line of Sign Seal Delivered shirts at our merch store. That's going to be coming up soon. And we got some really cute stuff planned because they won the contest. So check that out. And we even have, we still have some goodies stuff there as well. So it's really fun. And we sure appreciate you guys listening. And again, let us know what you think. And thanks so much. We'll hopefully talk again next week. We will see. And uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.